For our well, we're going to be installing a pitless adapter. Now, initially, we're not going to be using the pitless adapter. We're going to be bringing the well pipe out of the top, but we want to get the pitless adapter installed while we've got the trench open. We'll probably lay the, the actual poly pipe to the building later. We're not going to do that today, but the actual pitless adapter, getting that installed in the well shaft is what we want to achieve today. Pitless adapter, if you haven't seen one before, this is ours. We have the, the Campbell uh, B10 XLF. This is a brass one inch pitless adapter. And it looks like this. So it kind of looks like a T. It's got a thread on this side, a thread on that side, and a thread on that side, but they're not all connected. It's a two part piece of equipment and it disconnects like that. So this piece just slides in the top there. This piece here, we're actually going to be installing in the well shaft itself. The well shaft will actually get sealed between these two pieces. This part here unscrews and goes on, and this piece here is going to be inside the well. It essentially creates a hole that you can see right through the side of the well. We can then install the pipe, our drop pipe on the side of here, or our, our supply line rather, going off to the, uh, the utility building on the side here. On the inside, we then have this piece, and this will slot down in there, and there's a rubber O-ring in there that will create a really tight connection. In the top is a thread, a female thread, and that doesn't go anywhere. It's only about an inch deep inside the fitting, and that's purely just to lower this down into the well. On the bottom is the hole that our drop pipe going down to the well pump will be installed into, and that does continue. If I put my finger in there, you can see it comes out of the, the side there. So the pipe will come up here and then the water can come out the side here. The reason this is a really sort of useful fitting is because it's a two part fitting, you can actually disconnect this at will. So I can have that, go the right way around. I can actually slide that down into there, but if I need to maintain the well pump, I need to pull it out for any reason, I can install a piece of, of threaded uh, steel or pipe down into there and just lift that out, leaving the rest of the adapter in place. So that's what a pitless adapter is. And that's what we want to get installed today. So to do that, I've got a couple of pieces of equipment with me. The first is obviously a drill. So on here, I've got a small drill bit. We're just going to use that to create a pilot hole. And then we have a larger hole saw bit. In our case, we have a one and seven eighths inch uh, hole saw bit that we're going to use to drill the hole that the pitless adapter will actually fit through. We're not going to be connecting a drop pipe inside today. So we're only going to be using the adapter to, uh, to actually lower this piece in. And to make sure I don't drop it, it doesn't fall off or anything, I'm gonna stuff this piece of PVC into there. And so that's just holding this whole fixture together. You can see it in the bottom there. This now won't separate, that's locked together. Once I've got this installed, before I install the pipe on here, I'll pull that piece of PVC out. The pipe itself looks like this. So you can see we've just stubbed this off. There's a cap under there that I've then taped in place. And then I've attached this on the end. This is a one inch MPT by one inch barb fitting. It's a super, super tight fitting onto here. I just, this morning, just put the uh, the pipe on just tight enough to get one barb on the end of there. And I couldn't get it apart again. I had to use a heat gun to actually get it all the way on. And that was so tight. I mean, there's no chance of you pulling that apart by hand. I then added these two stainless steel gear clamps or hose clamps on the end here. And each one of those is tightened to 60 inch pounds, which is the specification for those. This whole assembly is absolutely locked rigid. And this is what's going to screw into uh, this piece. It's not, it's the wrong fitting. There it is. And this is what's actually gonna screw inside here. Inside this, uh, this thread here, there's a, a male thread on the outside for the nut and a female thread on the inside, which is what's gonna get this. Because I am using stainless steel and brass here, I have a special pipe tape and I also have some pipe sealant that's gonna go on. That will stop the, the stainless steel and the brass from galvanically reacting. It'll also make it easier to uh, undo those, which I will need to do because this is just a temporary setup until we are ready to put the hose, uh, the, the main drop pipe in place. Last couple of things I have in my box of tricks today. I have a tape measure. We obviously want to check the height or the depth, I should say, of the pitless adapter. In our case, we were wanting to get down as low as possible. We can only get down about 39 inches to where we can drill, 39 inches below final grade. And that's not ideal. I'd rather get down, that's about what, just under three and a half feet. I would have liked to have been down about six feet, but we're on absolutely solid rock here. 
and we can't get this up without risking damaging the well. Maybe we should have brought more or sort of hammered more rock out of here before we drilled the well, but we didn't. So this is the situation we're in. Spoke to our well driller. He is not at all concerned. Uh, he was concerned about hammering nearby. He's not concerned about the depth. We can get around that with some insulation that we'll use to cover it up. We're also installing a drain valve inside the well so that actually each time the pump turns off, it'll drain back. And we can do that because of some of the plumbing that we're doing later that I'll talk about more in a future video. Another thing we have in here is some adjustable pliers. These are going to be used for actually securing the pitless adapter in place and then that uh, that barb MPT fitting onto the pitless adapter. And lastly, um, I have some oil here. Whenever you're drilling into metal, particularly with a hole saw, you want to lubricate it. There are lots of sprays and things you can use. I'm gonna try and use canola oil today. This is the same as we use with the chainsaw. The reason for that is we're drilling into our well. This is our drinking water source. And I don't really want to have some strange, unknown mineral oil based product that might spray inside the well as we drill through. So we're gonna try using the canola oil, see if that works instead. So this is the plan. We're gonna try and get this installed. Uh, our well driller we spoke to, he's been fantastic. He's given us loads of help in, uh, in getting all this set up, making sure we've got the right parts and equipment. Uh, he's also said if we run into any difficulties, he's more than happy to come and do it for us. But we were up for the challenge. And frankly, I think he was keen to move on to the next job and get his well drilling truck back in the game. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Contact. Oh, please tell me that didn't just break inside. Did that just break inside? Press the other drill bit. Yeah, more of those? Yep. I wonder why they came in a pack of three. Never knew. Okay, that's good enough. If I touch it against the thing. So that does nothing. Just that. Yeah, okay. that, exactly. There you go. One piece of wall casing. Is it with the bird? Yes. I do actually have a file down in the ship container. Hmm. That'd be good. Yeah. Are there? I think. Do you know what a file looks like? Yeah. So it's a real thin one. It's like a thin triangular one. Uh-huh. I think it's in the white mesh rack. Oh, right, yeah. So it's about that long. And it's very thin. It's only about that big across, mm -hmm. like triangular little cross profile. Mm -hmm. We got the hole drilled. The canola oil actually worked pretty well. It was fairly hard to get it on there. We ended up sort of pouring it down the outside of the, the casing here, but we had a steady flow of oil going onto it and actually that worked pretty nicely. In terms of this bit, this was a brand new hole saw bit uh, that I bought for this. Uh, it's only a bimetal bit. It's not a tungsten carbide or anything. We did lose a tooth. There's a, you see a tooth missing there. Um, let's see if I hold that up. But otherwise it did the job okay. I mean, I don't know, this is gonna be, go in my, uh, box of top quality bits anymore, but it was about $10 for that bit. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. This was an Irwin bit, just in a, a universal uh, attachment for the, the hole saw on a DeWalt 20 volt cordless drill. And it did that, took a couple of minutes. I took it slow, I didn't spin it too fast. And once we had a good flow of oil on there, it worked pretty nice. So next step is to install the pitless adapter. Oh, and we did deburr it. We uh, just used a small little file and just uh, cleaned up the edges just so that these O-rings and seals can seat nicely. So this is the, the pitless adapter we're gonna be installing. It's going to, to sit in uh, that orientation inside. You can see there's a curve on here that, that's gonna follow the inside of the, the wall casing and a curve on this piece will follow the outside. I'm going to now detach 
these parts of it because these go on the outside of the well casing. So first comes off this big uh, brass nut. Then I'm going to take off that washer. And then I'm going to take off this rubber seal on here. So one stays inside and one goes on the outside. So that one's going to go inside the well and seal against the inside of the casing. This one then will slide back on side and sit here on the outside of the casing to secure it. So I've got my piece of PVC, uh, my Schedule 40 PVC, just that I stuck in there as a bit of, bit of scrap. So this assembly now can't separate until I pull that out. We're now gonna thread this onto the end of a T-handle I made out of some galvanized pipe. So it's one 10 foot length of um, galvanized pipe threaded at both ends. And then I bought a T and I bought a 24 inch, two foot long length of the same stuff that I cut in half, flipped them around so I can thread those two ends into the T. And that gives, our, uh, gives us our handle. The bottom of that will go into here. And we're then gonna drop that down through the, the top of the wellhead and try and stick it through this hole. Because it's got a T handle at the top, we can't drop it. It'll be fairly tight in here, so that'll uh, secure it in there. Then we can get this uh, washer and the nut on here, secure it in place, and finally unscrew the, oh, pull the, uh, yeah, we won't unscrew actually, we'll pull this piece of PVC out, allowing us to lift the T handle back out and lift this other portion of the, the pitless adapter out. If this were connected to the drop pipe, that's when you would unscrew it and lift it out. Okay, let's get to it. I'm not bothering with any sealant or tape or anything on here. This is just a temporary connection just so we can lower it down. But that's what we have. So we have the T-handle up there. We're going to take the, the temporary cap off the top of the well, and we're gonna lower this down and try and poke it through that hole. This thing is quite heavy. Galvanized still is, is not light. So we'll just try and get it into place. Once it's through that hole, obviously this will start to take some of the weight on there, which will make it a little bit easier and it can't drop because of the tea at the top. So, do you think we should submerge the whole thing and check whether it hit the water? You want to see if we hit water at 10 feet? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we will. We could try, because we, we estimated that it might be at 15 feet. Yeah, 15 feet below grade, but that's also three foot above I grade. See. Okay. So it's probably 18 feet, so no, I, <laughs> I don't really want to try and manhandle this any more than I have to. Okay. So uh, I think let's just get this down the well and okay. get this installed. Oh, I can see the hole. Oh, it's the hard part. Do you need help? You know? No. Right, can you put your finger so I know the orientation where the hole is? is it... There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have to see the light coming through. I can, but it's quite hard. Okay, can you look through the hole? Yep. Here. Make sure there's no dirt in those threads. Yeah. Right, let's put a little bit of sealant on those threads. Yeah, and you want to brush it into the threads. Okay, so... Yeah, that's it. And you can be fairly liberal with it. Just most important things don't get in the dirt. Yeah. You want to keep that washer aligned so that it follows, yeah, like that. You put the top back on that. Yep. How much? As tight as you can. It's pretty tight. So now I'm going to pull out this piece of pipe that's here. And that will allow our two sections to separate. So all you've got to do now is lift. You've got to lift and wiggle, maybe. There you go. Okay, so when it gets towards the top, it's going to be quite hard to support it. 
So you probably want to lean it over because it's really tall because Matt's an idiot and bought a giant 10 foot long piece of pipe. You got it? Yeah. Boom. So then on the end of there, still attached, is this piece of the uh, Phillips adapter. And this other piece here is what's going to slide. So this will slide into that piece we just installed and the drop pipe later will come out here. Water will come through here into our new supply pipe. So that is the actual pitless adapter installed. Nice. All the stuff to do is basically cap it off. So we'll put the well cap back on here, the temporary metal one that was there. We'll put that on there and then we'll install this piece in there. And that's just going to be our temporary capped off connection until we install the final well pipe. And soon enough, we'll have water running. Whoop, whoop. So I'm putting just a couple of wraps of this uh, silver PTFE tape. I believe it's impregnated with nickel and that will just give us um, a good seal. But on top of that, I'm going to put some of the, uh, the sealant as well. Supposedly, those two combined. The um, where's the little tub gone? And here is it. There's more there. I was saying. Yeah. So supposedly using the tape first, followed by the other stuff is the right way to do it. I've just realised I put that tape on backwards. I always do this. I can never. My head cannot handle. So here's a good lesson. So that's the way I've wrapped the tape around. When I go to screw it in, I'm going to screw it like that. And if, mm. I, if you think about it, what's going to do is it's going to bunch that yeah, up yeah. as it goes. So you always want to thread this the other way around. I'm probably committing a cardinal sin here by trying to reuse this piece. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see if this works. I always look at it and think, yeah, I've got this right way around. And I swear it's a 50-50. So if somebody in the comments can let us know what's the easy way to remember it, let us know. Please do. I should have cut that end as well. That was naughty of me. Let me, well, let me cut that end. Have you got your sharp knife on you? Yep. My knife has been used for everything but knifing recently. Let's see that. And again, I'm using this thread sealant um, that's designed for metal connections. And so you can see how that female thread that we put the nut on has a male thread on the inside. The hardest part about doing this is doing it in a hole. Reminds me of working in an RV. Okay, so that now is nice and sturdy. It's really tight into the pitless adapter. Pitless adapter itself is tightly uh, squeezing on the well shaft. And long term, this will be our water pipe. So we're gonna leave this just like this for now. It's essentially all sealed up, just a pipe in there. And then later on, we'll come along, we'll pull these two clamps off. We'll probably have to cut this piece off. Uh, just make a little slit down there to actually get this off because it's so tight on there, even without the clamps. And then we can install our real supply pipe on here that will feed off to the utility building. We spoke to the well driller because we haven't got the depth we really want on here. What he said was just cover it with some insulation. So we're gonna put a couple of layers of um, foam insulation board. Again, we're not in love with how much we're having to bury insulation in the ground here. It's really not what we'd like to be doing, but at the same time, we don't really have a choice. Uh, we just, we have so much rock here, we can't get below that, that frost depth without crazy crazy amounts of excavation and so putting the the foam board down is kind of the the only route we have but i'm really happy with that uh, we have a well pipe essentially installed now when we're ready to drop the well in with a pitless adapter connection we just pop that pitless adapter on the end use the t-handle again drop it down the the well and then you use a special well cap to go on top we have that well cap but we won't be installing that until probably next year when we have the utility building done. In the meantime, we're going to be using a well seal that you'll see in a later video.